Here we are outside on a bright sunny day. And I just wanted to show you my suboptimal solar panel setup here. So these are 395 or 400 watt panels, depending on which one they are. And I've got these set up in a two parallel, two series, so that I get around the 80 volts out of them uh, back to the controller. I would do them all in series, but my controller, the Amazon listing says it's 190 volts that it can handle, but the manual says 160. And if I do them all in series, it goes right above 160. The open circuit voltage on these panels is around 49 volts. Um, and when I plug them in, it's, it's like 165 and it doesn't charge. That is where I've got solar panels. But then the exciting part is when we go inside. <laughs> so the goal here was to run an air conditioner, which you'll start hearing here in a second. It's been running all day long, set at 64 degrees. Not the most efficient unit in the sense that you're going through a window and it's not sealed very well. And you want to get down? No, you want the poof. That's what you want. Hey, hey. Okay, okay. Here, take it. <laughs> Alright, well hopefully there's no wind. Alright, so what we've got here is my horrible wiring for the solar panels coming in. And yes, it should be better than this. And to my Palmister 60 amp solar controller, solar charge controller. This guy is pulling 69 volts off the panels, 554 watts. Of course, that's 1.6 kilowatts worth of panels. And we're up to 57.4 volts for the battery. And we're pushing some in there. Now, we've got the AC running. The AC is pulling about, uh, on the DC side, it'll be pulling about 480 watts into the inverter. This 1500 watt pure sign inverter. And then out to the air conditioner. On the AC side, it pulls about 460. So I calculate this about probably like 86 to 89% efficient. Not bad, it'd still be nicer to have a DC uh, air conditioner and be able to bypass the inverter. And then I've got a couple of BMW EV or hybrid batteries down here. So these are lithium. I've got them in a 15S configuration with the BMS. They are in line with the BMS. It's a 45 amp BMS, which handles this setup just fine. I can start whether I've got the solar panels connected or not. But the important part is that this has been running all day and we've gone from a battery voltage around 50 volts to up to 57 and we're headed for 60 to 61, I think is where I've got the cutoff. It may not reach that today, but we've got enough I could keep running it this evening if I want to. 